ever since I began my YouTube journey about four and a half years ago, I've always been in a shared or non-dedicated space. And what that means is every time I would shoot a video or take some photos, I'd be moving furniture and setting up all my equipment. Then I gotta shoot my video. And then I gotta tear it all down and put the house back in order. Finally, I have this great dedicated space that's all my own. So what I wanna do is show you guys around this space and show you maybe some of the interesting things that I've done to make the space very functional. So come on, let's take a look. So this is my workstation. This is where I edit all my pictures and videos. And what I like about having this in my workspace is I shoot all my stuff right beside me, right over here, and I can bring it over, take a look right away, and then go back to my, my shooting space and make any tweaks that I have to. light behind me and beside me here are the same light. Of course, this one is in a soft box to produce a really nice wrapping soft light. There are these cheapy halogen lights that I've had for probably 10 years. I have three of them. I use them to light all my videos. They're just awesome. I love them. Behind me here is probably my favorite thing in the whole studio. These are just rolls of paper. I do use them. Um, for photography and I do use them for a bit of video work as well. I really like this because it's like this colorful addition to my studio. It's almost, I appreciate it more aesthetically than functionally. Now here's my main shooting surface. There's nothing special about this. It's just a simple Ikea table. It's a black table actually, but I covered it in white paper. And the reason I did that is twofold. Uh, I do a lot of product videos, and so I want things to be really visible, I like the contrast on the white. But also the white paper bounces the light off of my main light back up into my face and just gives me really nice wrapping light, which I really love. And you know, when this paper gets beat up, I just rip it off, put on a new sheet. Right in front of my background, I have these two lights here, one here and one on the other side. So they're evenly spaced on the background and they just provide a hair light. They're LED bulbs and I can change them to be any color I want, which is kind of cool. One of the best things about having a dedicated space is no wasted time on setup and teardown. Things stay in place, always ready to go. Now you see up here, I've got these uh, little clamps and I've got this piece of string running around my environment. And what I do with that is I have some moving blankets and I just pin them up around the perimeter. They block light, they enhance the sound by cutting reverberation and blocking some of that external noise. So really, really awesome, easy solution. And the final piece here, is my overhead rig. And you can see it's kind of jury rigged with some, some cord and stuff to keep it kind of stable and eliminate the vibrations as much as possible. I do a lot of product reviews and stuff like that. So I need overhead shots. And this is just a simple way of getting those shots. That is my favorite part about having a dedicated space is I can make it all my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.